Lack of quality education has been the bane of academic excellence in Nigeria. With the deregulation in the sector, like many others, paved way for private players, non-governmental organizations, and religious bodies. And Sarudin ranks top among such groups that hold education in high esteem. Hence, in virtually all states of the Federation, you will find pre, nursery, primary, and secondary schools in line with the dream of founding fathers. This dream has been taken to a higher level with the birth of Summit University. Look Located at Offa in Kwara State. Like all universities and the mandate of the society, exist board of trustees and governing board. Ojeje Musibura. Ojeje Musibura. Niwa Jo Long Wati Bubuye. Niwa Jo Long Wati Bubuye. Pe Iseti Egbe Ansarudin Fumi. Gege Bi Member Governing Council Summit University. Member of the Summit University. Mugba Towater say, Massi Sabuipami Lati say Senna Dio Gungu Lati Mugbo Irungba at Tiala. I want to add the University in Kale. Dei Muse. Hello, Nina Wu. Nina Ara Tibajuma. Atisiso O Tonu. Nibu Bugba. Life your Rosie B. Bubu and it's your robotic. Boya and it's Timo Nife. I be any Timo Kurira. For the past six months or so, our university has, uh, has not had the necessary organs that should be running it under the normal circumstance due to one reason or the other. And it's uh, to the glory of God that today we are able to inaugurate the governing council and the uh, board of trustees to ensure the smooth running of the university. And that glides my heart. I believe that today's occasion will move the uh, university forward, uh, I mean positively. As the law of the university is designed in accordance with National Universities Commission, the Board of Trustees and the Governing Council are supposed to be in place for four years, which is renewable. So the term for the erstwhile um, board, board of Trustees and Governing Council had elapsed, so the, it's incumbent on the society to inaugurate a new board and council, and that's what was done today. In a brief ceremony that had all the national executive and state chairmen from all over the Federation, saw the inauguration of a Governing Council at the expiration of the previous one. I have no doubt whatsoever that the chairman and his team have what it takes to achieve the mission and vision statements of the university, which are mission to establish a citadel of learning that produces strong minds that are sound in academics, character, and the fear of God. The honors fell on al Aji Rafi Ebiti to chair the governing council, as well as serve as pro-chancellor of the great citadel of learning. The chairman of the governing council, al Haji Abi Rafi Ebiti, and your team definitely have a daunting assignment before you as nurturing a new university to maturity and global prominence and acceptance is indeed an accruing task and requires experience, sacrifice, dedication, focus, integrity, single-mindedness, and total cooperation of all your members. Ki Olorun oba ko ran yin lowo ko ran awa na lowo ah ki o fun ati awa teyin ni aseyori ko je ki igba tin ati igba ti wa Ko tu ba, ko tu se, ko mu ilo si wajwa ati idagwa so ke, ba university wana. Ki o lan kuma wa fi e yinan le, ko sa yini e son ulure, ko fun yini okun, ati agbara, ati ariziki, ati igbalayi. La ti se isena, ki o lan ko si gba ni ibada fun yin, ko gba ni ibada fun awana, o la fa ati ha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إجاك نعبد وإجاك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين امين This was immediately followed with his acceptance speech As we have taken an oath to meet the ideas for which this university was set up I'm saying that on their behalf We also like that we work seamlessly given the challenges of fitbit organizations we would like to work seamlessly with the board of trustees with the national association uh, there are no impossibilities when the mind is one the niyat goes before and i'm inspired and i take this all the time by the founding fathers of this society in their wildest dreams they never thought it would come out like this so they have passed on to each and every one of us the mantle to build and to expand on their so called limited dreams it is our responsibility each and every one of us to fly the flags of an Saudi society summit university and everything that has to do with a Saudi society higher and better than what it is now i have no doubt in my mind i personally as a person don't believe in impossibilities if it doesn't work it means your creator has a reason for it he may not even explain the reason to you but if your niyat is good it will read fruits they don't have to be those fruits don't have to be during your time it could be after your time and that is what legacy is all about i pray that we we'll create a legacy for this university and it will be something that each and every one of us will be proud of Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Elia, Ali Aji Rotimi Oyekon, along his team, we are also inaugurated as the Board of Trustees Chairman. In the context of commitment, on behalf of my family, personally, I will endow scholarship for 20 students today, in specific sum of 300,000 naira each for every semester. The president shed light on what informed the choices of the two chairmen. These are uh, tested gentlemen. These are uh, gentlemen that uh, have integrity. You know, the university law is very clear on the qualification and qualities of uh, personalities to occupy these positions, as well as the position of chairmen of those two bodies. And we are very, very meticulous and very careful in the process of selection. And I have no doubt in my mind that they will deliver by the grace of God. How did they feel charged with such enormous responsibilities? I'm surprised and amazed, you know, because um, whatever I do, I don't do for results. In terms of charity, whatever, I do it to worship my creator. Sometimes in the life of a man, um, Almighty Allah gives you responsibilities. I believe um, this is a responsibility from Almighty Allah to bring to summit the resources, goodwill, and knowledge that one has been given um, to the glory of Allah and to the benefit of Ansaruddin and mankind. In five years, what result is expected from the duo? Yes, I, I am very hopeful, confident, that in the next five years, Summit University will be one of the best in Africa, by the grace of Almighty Allah. We wish the appointed chairman success in discharging their responsibilities as we pray Allah's guidance for them. <laughs>